Hello, my name is Kevin Webb with the Valor Division within Mentor, a Siemens business. I want to welcome you to this presentation on the Valor NPI Manufacturing Risk Assessment Tool, or as we like to call it, MRA. Over the next few minutes, we'll get familiar with the ease and use of the MRA to show how you can easily get accurate DFM analysis of your design in just a few short minutes. The new product introduction process spans both the design and manufacturing of print circuit boards and requires clear and complete communications between the two. Mentor's Valor NPI application software helps you accelerate your new product introductions. The MRA is our main tool to facilitate the review of any number of analysis results, and it does so by grouping the analysis results into assessment areas. Each area relates to a specific fabrication of manufacturing problem or process. A summary pane provides an overview of the results of all assessment areas and categories. The MRA can be used to sort and review analysis results, isolate issues that will most impact quality and yield, define group and run analysis actions, minimize design errors, and report issues of interest. From within your EDA tool, simply export the design directly to Valor NPI or through the process of exporting ODB++. We can then open your design from within Valor NPI, where we can look at the stack up and quickly see the intelligent information, such as the proper layer stack up, along with your drills that intelligently interconnect your layers. If we take a deeper dive into the layer stack up, you can see additional intelligence that automatically came from your EDA tool, such as copper weights for each layer, buildup versus core layers, material thickness, and layer subtypes, just to name a few. Valor NPI has the ability to easily import your bill of material, along with alternate part information, to make the design even more intelligent. Once the bomb is imported, we can run a match with the Valor Parts Library to automatically assign the VPL part, where this allows you to use the more comprehensive pin contact information from the VPL part for solder validation, as well as other assembly DFM analysis. The MRA is also the gateway to the Analysis Definition Manager, also known as the ADM where it is used by your DFM expert to define classification sets for the newer product model centered approach to the DFM that we call MRA revolution. From within this ADM, we make use of the intelligent information that comes over to tune the analysis based on critical attributes of the design. To properly assign the appropriate constraint rules to this design, we have the ability to set various design factors to help make these assignments. In this example, I've added factors such as layer count, typical trace to trace, as well as typical trace width for both inner and outer layers. As you can see, if we select the test button, the system interrogates this design and lets me know which of the factors pass and any classification that fully passes, such as this complex 4-4 mil does in this example, the system will assign all the constraint values to this design based on this complex classification. Once I jump over to the constraints, you can see that I have made use of additional factors such as copper weights and layer positioning. I can also test any particular constraint from within the ADM to make sure I am receiving my desired results during my one-time ADM constraint setup. Once you have completed the setup of the analysis definitions, running the analysis from the MRA is accomplished by a single action from within the analysis menu, Run MRA Revolution. From here, simply select your preferred classification. This single action triggers the Valor NPI to analyze your design and automatically select the most appropriate constraints based on factors of the design. The analysis results will be categorized within the MRA for your review in one fell swoop. Back in the MRA, we'll drop into the etch type results first, where we'll select this example of fabrication concern, sliver. Once we select the issue, you can see it zooms into the issue, and if we wanted, we can easily synchronize the design with the EDA tool, where it makes it very easy for the designer to make the update directly within the source data. 
Additionally, if I need to tweak the ADM values for this check, I can simply select the open ADM icon and it will take me directly to the constraint rule where I can quickly make my updates. As you can see, this issue was on layer four, which is an inner layer with a yellow value of four mils while I have measured a value of 1.277 mils. If I have permission and choose to tweak this value within the ADM, I'd simply select my complex 4x4 four four mil rule for inner layers and make my change. Now for our second example, we'll jump down to the solder tab to look at solder validation issues. As you can see, the system flagged a number of solder validation issues related to pin to pad relationship issues. As we select one of these issues, we can see the actual pin of the device that came from the VPL match has a toe distance violation. There is inadequate space at the heel of this part to achieve a proper solder joint. We're looking for 13.78 mils based off of IPC level B rules, while we only have 4.25 mils. You can see here the red box is the pin of the part, while the blue is the copper pad. And for our last result review, we'll select component placement issue where we have a discrete 1206 too close to an SOIC. As you can see, we're looking for 15 mil clearance and only have 10 mils. Once you've completed your analysis and optimized your design for manufacturing, you are ready to generate your ODB++ output, which supports fabrication and assembly while protecting your intellectual property. The single ODB++ container provides all the information necessary to manufacture your optimized PCB.